Hey there, traders. We're starting off an important week with the election happening tomorrow and an FOMC announcement on Thursday. Today is Monday, November 4, 2024. It is about 8.28, 8.29 a.m. currently. When the futures opened last night to kick off the week, they gapped lower at the open, but immediately started climbing. And they've messed around that gap that they left open, basically where the ES closed on Friday afternoon, and they've managed to stay above that area so far. So as we looked at in Friday's recap video, in the really big picture, the market is bullish. When you get down to the daily chart and below, weakness is starting to show up. And in the middle of all that on the hourly chart, at least of right now, there is a bullish consolidation that is developing. If they can keep price above 570.68 on hourly closes, there is a chance that price could climb higher than even the highest level that we have on the board today. And of course, there are areas of natural resistance along the way. So depending on how things look, if or when price gets to those levels, they could be good for small base hits. So that light blue line at 570.68 is not really a tradable level. It's just my reference to see how that bullish pattern plays out. If there are hourly closes below 570.68, then the odds of the bulls being in control at that time are diminished. We don't want to forget that this week isn't a typical week in terms of socioeconomic events. When I factor in the tension of the pending election results, along with what the SPY has done in the last few days, starting with that drop on Halloween Day, I would not be surprised to see unusual things happen. The other possibility is that most traders and algos just kind of step back and wait for the dust to settle up to that FOMC announcement on Thursday, and we have a quiet week until then. We'll find out soon enough. Whatever happens, we'll come back to this chart and talk about how price reacted around our levels. Catch you on the other side. It is now after 8 p.m. I'm going to say that unusual things have already started to happen. Or maybe a better way of describing it is there are divergences showing up, perhaps. I'll show you on the hourly chart in a minute where there was a bullish pattern early in the morning that did not play out as designed. But first, were there any trades using the levels from the morning? Uh, yes and no, I guess. I was a little late getting set up at the office, so I wasn't ready for this first trade when the SPY hit 571.05 or 571 even after that 15-minute window was open right after 9.45. So I did not take that trade. Didn't take any trades, actually. But anyway, I, you would have gone short right here, pretty much at the market at the 9.45 a.m. candle close as the spiders hit 571. And given it a few minutes, they pulled back to give you a four-point base hit. And that's pretty much all. So that's your first base hit of the day. So they got above this level and messed around for a bit. And it looked like the bulls were going to make that hourly chart pattern play out to the upside like they were supposed to. So I was thinking that I maybe missed the chance to be long and I didn't want to chase price. They're heading up. Look, I'm starting to look at the next level higher, but they stalled out and they kind of got you know lower, got back down into this neighborhood of this level. And that whole bullish thing started to look less appealing. It, will, it should make more sense when we look at the hourly chart. There was also a pretty clear trend line that had been developing that price was above for a while, then they got below. So it kind of changed the tune a little bit. So remember this level here at 570.68 that we talked about in the morning? That was a place where the bulls needed to stay above to keep price climbing. And by the second hour of the day, so this is like 1130 right here, they were right down at it. And so usually by this point with this chart pattern I'm going to show you in a minute, price would normally have been playing out to the upside at this point in the day. You know, that's typically how those patterns play out. So at the 1130 a.m. candle close, they were right at the level. So I wanted to see what they would do between this level here and this line in the sand. So I just sat back and watched. The way I saw it is they had plenty of opportunity to push price down at that 11.30 and close the 11.30 a.m. candle close below this line in the sand. And that would have given a clue to a lot of reasonably astute traders that the bulls were not, in fact, in charge, and they were just in the process of giving up control in this area. But what they did is they closed right above or right at the level, and then a minute or two later, they're down here and they're getting below this level. So they started falling, and once price got below the level, that was kind of not really a coincidence, I think, at that time of the day. So you'd have to ask yourself, if you were in a long position from here, like if you wanted to take this for a recycle trade on the other side, based on that hourly chart, would you want to wait an hour or more to see if the bulls could stage a comeback and close the next hour or so above this level? I really wasn't willing for that. So this next level down here was starting to look a lot more attractive to me at this point. Plus, there's other reasons we can talk about later. But in any case, they started dropping and I was getting to where I was ready to close up shop anyway, I'm really starting to kind of get in the habit of not taking trades the closer the clock gets to like noon or so. So I watched them for a bit. Didn't take the trade down here. Either didn't take any trades. It would have worked well if you chose to do so. Obviously, it was a good support. 
And by the way, this level down here, it's in the vicinity of that important area we talked about last week that I really wanted price to hit before they rebounded a little. Uh, I guess it was on Friday. It was still important. We could talk about why when we get into the other time frame charts. But we need to talk about the rest of the trade. So I already talked about this. There's your base hit there. If you had taken the long trade here and ignored the signals, you would have fumbled at about 18 points out of the money. That would not have been fun. Reversing would have given you another four points or more as it fell, continued to fall. The last trade would be your other long trade down here at 568. 44. When the price got back up to here and they bounced off this line in the sand, that's kind of telling me the bulls had really given up control over here once they got under the level after an eight, uh, after 11.30. And they never really regained it for the rest of the session. Because this light blue line here at 5.70.68, that was the bottom or the low of that hourly breakup candle where price was supposed to rally from right after the open. We'll take a look at the hourly chart so we can unpack this a little more. We have this big breakup candle here. Certain time had elapsed as they're coming down to the bottom of this candle. And now we are at the beginning of this day. So this is the first hourly candle, the 1030 candle. And they're getting down to the bottom. We had a level down here and they bounce. And you're expecting them to bounce off this level and pull higher, like at least somewhere in the middle, if not higher above the high of this breakdown candle or breakup candle. But they stalled out. So now we have the next hour. This is the 1130 close right here at the other level we had. Another five, if I were to look at a five minute chart, in fact, that's probably important because that's important because I mentioned the trend line. So Loosely just drew this trend line here, and price clearly was under this area, you know, riding this thing down. They get above it after the opening bell. So it looks like the bulls are in charge, as I said. They're coming back down into this level at 1130. They get below it, you know, one close, two close, three closes below this, this trend line. The bulls aren't in charge at this point. So back on the hourly chart, you have multiple closes now at this point, hourly closes under this level. That generally means this bullish consolidation will not play out to the upside. Something else is going on, probably going to go lower. So let's take a look at the daily chart, see what they're doing. We don't need this level so much anymore. So this was kind of just hovering above the 50 period moving average. Nothing's really strong, at least in the last few days, but they didn't close below the low of this. There's uncertainty, obviously, with the election and everything else. So I think it's just safe. This is my opinion. I think it's just safe to stay put, watch things from a distance. The next few days and maybe pick up on Friday. But I'm going to provide the levels each morning. I just don't think I'm going to trade them. Probably won't even look at the market, honestly. I can get a lot of work done if I'm not distracted. So here are the logs. They play in by the rules. Logs, the first one up. The first level, the base hit plus the recycle, which would not have worked out, given 18 points back, a base on the reversal of that fumble, and then a base on the lower level. So here you go. You can see how these numbers played out for today. And then nothing for me, no trades taken. So that's pretty much a wrap for today. Hope you found it helpful. If you're interested in learning more about what we're doing here, maybe you want to try these daily levels out for yourself, just check out the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with new levels, but I'm not sure I'll have a game plan for anything until next week. So while I'll run the numbers and make sure they're sent out, I'm going to sit this week out. No more trades for me, most likely. See you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.